chance to get away right here in Maine. Oh, so pretty. We're with guide Lanny Love heading off to the Stratton Brook Hut. Our trailhead was just a few hundred yards from the access road to Sugarloaf Mountain. I couldn't think of a better place to guide trips. It's, the trail is so diverse, there's a lot of up, there's down, we go across the lakes. I mean, this is really the best country to guide in. We see a number of people on the trail, which is so well maintained that we don't really need our snowshoes. We're on a three mile hike up about 1900 feet to Stratton Brook. In Poirier flight, Kelly Fitzpatrick and Nancy Tavares are out for a snowshoe. These girls came up for a visit, All right. and so Nancy's never been snowshoeing before. Nope, and so we time. figured getting out over here. What do you think, Nancy? Oh, it's great. Fun? It's an awesome exercise. Up near the lodge, we decide to don our snowshoes and head to a lesser used trail for a view of Bigelow. So this is what we're looking for, huh? That's right. It's stunning enough when you get out of the car over at Sugarloaf. So wow. there's the sleeping Indian. When you hike a few miles just to get a gander, it's a special view. Oh, it's fabulous. And the best way up there, Kirk, is by helicopter. <laughs> that is for sure. <laughs> the Stratton Brook Hut is the newest of the four which have been constructed by Maine Huts and Trails. Hut is a misnomer. It's very much an eco-friendly lodge with stoves and a big high ceiling combination living and dining room. Brand new executive director Carol Ann Willette came in to meet us and says she's got a lot to work with here in her new job. When I tell people huts, they kind of go huts and I, you have to explain a little more. It's, they're so beautiful. Um, you get here and it's just such a relaxing, wonderful kind of communal atmosphere. In the kitchen, the two-person staff is whipping up dinner, including this baked sweet potato and beet dish that I just love. One of the staffers, Dawn Bovin, is from nearby Eustis. I asked her about her schedule working here in the woods. Every two weeks, <laughs> we get to go to town for about five days. Yeah. Sometimes we get to ski out. But <laughs> for new CVA ski coach John Wagner of Falmouth, it's his first time into Stratton Brook. The trail in itself was a lot more work than I anticipated. I thought it was going to be a, a breeze to come up here. I was excited. I am still excited. Now, what did you think of the hut? I'm blown away. Blown away. It's I, not a hut, really. No, it's the, the Ritz Carlton on the top of the mountain in the middle of the woods. The hut is on the grid but so efficient, it produces more power from solar panels than it uses. There are clean showers and bathrooms with composting toilets that use just a couple of ounces of chemical soap for each flush. The heat would, of course, says Hannah Marshall. So this is where we are burning the wood, like in a traditional wood stove, but we can really fill it up. And then um, the wood burns once up there, and then the coals fall down and burn a second time down at the bottom at about 2,000 degrees Celsius, so pretty, pretty efficient. No, pretty right. efficient. It's about 85% efficient, and this is used to heat um, our hot water and to heat our radiant floor heating system. Soon dinner is ready, and it is surprisingly wonderful and almost gourmet. The menu works on a five-day rotational basis, and I was just shocked by how good it was. The trails are free, and you can drop by a hut for a snack or meal. If you do spend the night, dinner is included in the cost of the overnight stay. For Lanny's husband, guide Chip Cochran, the 80 miles of trail and four huts are a good piece of Larry Warren's original dream. And even though there's a lot left to do, a lot has been done. Before any huts were built, we bushwhacked our way up here and he's saying, we're going to have a hut up here and, and we're going to be trails to there. And, and I'm going, yeah, okay. I'm telling you, yeah, Luke, Lanny, yeah, right, Larry. <laughs> but I, I wanted to, you know, we were supportive enough to come up here and help and wanted to, you know, hear what he had to say and get involved. And, but uh, he, by God, he pushed ahead and he's making it happen. And, and uh, it's, it, you know, kudos to him and everyone else. And it's amazing. It's Bunk houses provide sleeping accommodations. When possible, you can arrange for a private bunk room. However, we had promises to keep and headed out with the CVA crowd skiing before us with headlamps. We simply snowshoed or hiked out, eventually turning off our headlamps and enjoying a couple of hours off the grid. In the moonlit night, 
appreciating Maine in a very old way, yet on a still emerging system known as Maine Huts and Trails.